Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, that's Dale Chanel's 48th World. That's where you are. All right, but let's get on into this story because I just can't believe, but I cannot believe it. Okay, I just can't. I won't, and I don't. All right. Ah, Tom Arnold would like us to think that the reason why Nene and Wendy Williams fell out, got salty towards one another, because of this bag right here. This bag right here, people. But it has all her famous sayings that made her who she was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? Yes, Tom Arnold from Roseanne. Y'all remember the Roseanne show that played, played, uh, played in the 90s, early 90s? Had a good heyday on sitcom TV. But yes, honey, they want us to believe that the reason why Nene show and Tom, uh, well, I forgot what his name is. Uh, y'all know who I am, Tom Don Arnold. That they show got canceled because of a perk. I said pettiness, maybe. Women just trying to dog out each other. I can believe that. A uh, pocketbook, purse, bag. However, y'all look at this thing. I just can't. <laughs> I can't get with it. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I would have thought that it would have been something very, very, very powerful, upsetting, demeaning something. And I really thought, um, why is my phone acting up? I really had come to the conclusion that um, Nene probably was going to be elevated, but knowing her big mouth, her outstanding personality, how she can rub people the wrong way. And I really feel that's pretty much more so it than what she's trying to elude and make us believe it was something else. But page six broke this story, honey. And I'm still trying to get it. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I just got this out on my phone. He just don't want androids to do anything anymore. But anyway, they go on to say, well, at least page six goes on to say, um, Nene Leakes, why Wendy Williams had my top show with Tom Arnold killed. Now, I remember this story, and, and they're going back and forth, and, you know, they're making up to break up, uh, break up to make up type of scenario, but I thought Nene was trying to get her own show. Now, she's trying to play in the field of having a man in her show, a white man, black lady, trying to get the diversity out there and trying to do, make it do what it had to be doing, or I don't know. But, um, I guess it's like a Kelly and Regis type thing. Or a What's that show? Um, Michael, what is that name? Is it Stan Stranahan? Something, um, something Kiki Palmer was hosting over there. But I think it's Michael Stranahan and somebody else. But uh, I guess they want a woman and a man show to get the female pers uh, perspective as well as a male perspective. But yes, Nene and Tom Arnold are trying to say. Wendy Williams got they show counsel because Nene felt that Wendy had uh, shrugged her the wrong way, rubbed her the wrong way, or felt like she didn't have enough money to have a Birkin bag. But ladies, I just want to know, 
And I already think I know the answer because I don't even know why I bought my Louis Vuitton bag. And see, it was a bag that I always wanted in high school. Um, in one of my videos, I tell you, I tell a little story about um, layaway in Louis Vuitton store. And this lady, this Asian lady, believing in me that one day I would have one, which I did acquire it. But when I look at that shit, I'm like, why the hell did I want that bag? It's not leather. Majority of the bag is vinyl. What was I thinking? Let me tell you, I was thinking like material wealth. I was thinking that everybody has one, so I need to have one. Uh, I was thinking that when people saw this, they thought I had money. All the flawed ways of how women and men think about things, especially materialistic type shit. Okay? But, um, yes, Nene rubbed, got rubbed the wrong way. And uh, Wendy wanted to screw her a little bit more with the little screwdriver in her back. Okay, and said, Kim, Zosiac would have more money to buy bags, those expensive bags. But they do go up to like $10,000. And like I said, I spent, what, eight, almost 900 for mine, my purse, my little top purse. And then I got the little coin chain, um, coin purse to go with it. So it all kind of uh, mixed around like $1,300 with tax and all that. But I know I had <clears throat> finished my um, education. I had got my master's degree. And um, I felt I needed that purse. I, I had wanted that purse since this 10th and 10th grade child. But like I say now, half the time I'm not, majority I don't carry it. You know what I'm saying? I carry other little no name bags or, um, you know, I got some coaches and some, you know, cut them, uh, we got micro cores, but none of them are expensive as the one that I had bought. Uh, a little bit time, and I got more wear and tear out of my coach bag. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm pretty much a coach maid, but um, this materialistic stuff drives people to do the craziest things. I mean, you, your bills could be behind, uh, you just want to keep up with the Joneses, so you'll take your rent money or your electricity money, food money, and you'll go put it on some name brand, whether it's jeans. Whether it's a code, whether it's just clothes in general, to keep up with the job, just to make look make you look like you got it. Like a lot of people, they go get those nice luxurious cars and pull them up in a and, and pull up and park them in um, their mama's house or they in an apartment type of situation living. And don't get me wrong, you know, when you're elderly and like I said, not elderly, like 60s, 70s, you probably don't want that house. Uh, anymore. You don't want the maintenance to keep up for us. You might get you a little townhouse or apartment and it suits you just fine. But, <laughs> child, Wendy under her breath, I said, Nina had to do something else because it's not about this damn bag. I'm sorry. Uh, they both are two strange, crazy ass women, okay? Uh, to try to lose a friendship over that. But, uh, we really can't be friends with nobody. Not in her uh, line of work because she used in and everybody to get a story. Put it out there. Y'all know y'all gonna go over to her channel. We all did. We all are responsible for filling ourselves up with gossip news, okay? Good. It ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Really, it's not. Okay? But, um, like I said, in my way of thinking, because I was watching the people Nene was calling herself gravitating to hanging around just that third and i remember one um time i had saw um uh, uh i think i don't know if it was tmz filming it or maybe it was a you know person like page six or someone else uh blogger outlet had had her uh with wendy williams at some restaurant and it had rick ross there and some other music entertainers and stuff I said, oh, look at the thin, the den of debauchery and outgoing hoonism going on. Because it seemed like they had video uh, vixens there, too, at this somewhat restaurant party or whatever. But I'm thinking they had evaluated bringing Nene in the fold. But Nene mouth and uh, her trying to let people know shit and, you know, claiming she's a rich bitch. They probably ter uh, terminated her. They said, no, nah, she can't be a part of our click-out circle because you can't always open your mouth when you want to. You can't express things 
sometime when you want to. You gotta be in the back and not seen sometimes. And she would not be a good candidate. And it was like 86, that ideal. So that's what I feel. She didn't get accepted with the illuminated one. So then she had to come back and act like a normal person, okay? Doing normal things. And she felt that uh, she was going to get a show. And quiet as kept, allows I'm going to speak it out. She probably thought she would be knocking Wendy Williams out her chair. Meaning she would get a show hosting it with uh, Tom Arnold. And, of course, people would definitely would come to see how they uh, fare together in a uh, talk show. And what would they be talking about? Of course, it will probably be gossip news, you know, who's who, what doing what in celebrity uh, land and all that kind of stuff. But I, I couldn't see Tom Hanks. I'm not Tom Hanks, Lord. Tom Arnold doing that type of format because he was already always in sitcom shows, funny comedian type shows. And for him to just sit up there and be serious about something that's going on with a, another uh, fellow actor or actress or, you know, music producer or something to that effect, dishing dirt on them. You know what I'm saying? Just don't, he don't seem like that person. And then Nene to me would be like a. Tamar that was on the reel. They would come in just to see her type of format and what she's given to the show and do they want to tune in every day to this uh particular outlet or forum. And uh I don't know, I just like mm, I don't know. I then mean, you know, would Nene be bringing in the crowd that they would want to sustain their show? Uh, with the ratings and all like that, you know, more like an Oprah. Oprah came out first, you know, catering to minorities and, and uh, people of color and things of that nature. Then she went all lily white. So I have something like Martha Stewart would have been for now. And she, she got her audience who were really tuning in to her. And um, they gave her for so many years on the show and gave her so many accolades. Now she got him just doing nothing, pretty much. Probably producing stuff in her own network that she owns okay but she's more so in the back end she's not being seen uh like she once was you know in her heyday but let's just get on into this what page six had to bring to the table for us okay so we can eat it up or spit it out and return it back to the kitchen okay it says uh it was written by bernie Zeno or somebody like that. They titled it Nene Leaks Why Wendy Williams Had My Top Show with Tom Arnold Kill. And see that that's a very uh distinct thing that she made reference to. Why is she saying her show? It ain't her show, it's a duo, meaning y'all show. It ain't no I me, it you know, it's not none of that. Me myself and me, let me see how you go you myself and i me myself and i doesn't go me myself and i it ain't about you nene you had a co-star but see how she formulated the words of it was her show no baby you were getting a green light where it'd be a duo type situation not a solo project a duo but anyway, going on into this, Nene Leakes tells page six exclusively what she feels is the reason why Wendy Williams allegedly asked her talk show with Tom Arnold. And you know I'm going to say, Nene, did page six pay you, girl, for your interview? I know they had to. I know they had to pay you for that interview. But then we go on. It says, um, Nene Leakes claims the real reason Wendy alleged asked her talk show with um Tom Arnold goes beyond the frenemies 2014 Birkin bag debacle while the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum tells page six exclusively that there is truth to the story the former Roseanne star told us she insists that uh there was an underlying implication that triggered her scathing blog, blog post which both she and Arnold believe cost him a gig I'm like, damn, Wendy floating like that? Wendy got that kind of power? She couldn't save her own show? Oh, no, 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 Nene. <laughs> Somebody higher up didn't like you, didn't didn't like what you were trying to give to them. And these people, meaning the elite, they're not stupid. They didn't think you would push their agenda or you'd get caught up in some mess and then they would have to, like, you know, off you off pretty much, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Wendy saw that I had defaced my Birkin bag. And yes, 
she posted a comment on her show uh, social media page about it leaks 54 recall but that wasn't the trigger the trigger was what she said about it and me on her hot topic segment prefacing that she doesn't remember Williams on air comments word for word leaks alleged that the Wendy Williams show post 57 suggested she wasn't wealthy enough to deface a purse that can cost upwards of 10 grand yes in dollar bags, 10,000, okay? And again, I ask my fellow women, why do we feel we need to carry such a plain bag? And it may be leather, okay? Uh, why do we think we would need to even think about paying that much for a name brand price? Are we all labor holes to a certain degree? Y'all let me know, okay? I might need to be in therapy as well. Shopping therapy, of course. <clears throat> Then we got Kim Kardashian had done the same thing around the same time. He faced her Birkin bag. Leaks told us, Wendy said Kim can do that because she has the money to do such a thing. But basically, I did. Okay, Mandy, did you get your feelings hurt, baby? But then maybe she felt like you didn't need to be in the Illuminated Club as well. And she tossed you out of that uh, lucrative thing that they do. But you have to do some strange things, but you get other things to compensate what you did that was dirty okay for the organization moving on it says uh the reality star doesn't necessarily feel it was her furious response to williams which in part read i am sure you're scared i would take your place i know you have heard hmm wink wink be scared honey that set off the media personality i responded by saying something like now wendell bartholomew no that's not in there but <laughs> i'm just going with it since she put it there okay all right um i have four broken bags and i can do the same least recall noting that the name wendell quickly went viral Wendy didn't like it she claimed adding that she alleged never heard from the production company again Deb Mar Mercury pulled the deal and stopped all communications with me. Our deal went dead. Okay. Uh, according to the Lanithia Lounge owner, she was already in talks with Deb Mar Mercury, which produced the Wendy Williams show at the time when they bought up the possibility of it being a male female duo. She claims that when Arnold was brought into the mix in his own interview with Page Six, the after 63 told us that the purse debacle was an eye opener for him and a topic he was hoping to dive into on the first episode of his show with leaks however he claimed leaks was unrepentant uh reps for williams did not immediately respond to our request for comment now, see, Nene didn't want to recant what she said, make an apology, and hopefully move on to Green Pastures, where she would have had a talk show where she would be co-hosting it with Tom Arnold. But as you can see, Nene let her anger against better judgment get the best of her. Now she's ass out, okay? Sort of like she may be ass out with that case if they move it to New York where the concrete concrete jungle is okay if you can make it in new york you can make it anywhere but i say what well, you make it do what it do in your own town and you make it magic okay all right but that's all i got for this story guys like it love it gotta have more you know i will bring it to you in those comment sections and chat 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 away and i'll be down there someday <laughs> to put my two cents in or to read what you all wrote and get my laugh on because y'all think i'm funny but some of y'all comments they be cracking me the hell up okay and i'm like damn i need to do i need to take my family member com comment and do a, a video on it and i might start doing it okay i'll shout y'all out you know i can't take the credit i have y'all my loving family to help me out and make me think all different kinds of ways that's how you grow when you're one-minded and you still you settle into that type of thinking you don't get too far at all you just get pulled back down when you're trying to fly upward okay but i will see y'all next video bye bye